you are about to enter the analysis zone, where political correctness is non-existent, non-existent. where critical thinking skills are required, required, and conservative common sense reigns supreme. supreme. And now, broadcasting live from Next Gen Conservative Central Command, it's the Whitfield Analysis. And your host is Sam Whitfield. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Whitfield Analysis. I'm Sam Whitfield with my co-host, Jared. Thank you for joining me this evening. Um, again, we're still so we're still trying to set up our telephone number here. It's not set up yet, but um, we're going to get it set up. Anyway, folks, um, tonight I have... A special message that I want to, um, well, it's something that I feel that I've needed to say for a long time, but folks, I suppose I should begin by saying, um, here at Next Gen Conservative, um, we are making some changes, um, to the organization um we're not we're not yet ready to announce this but um i'm just gonna come out and say as best i can um right now we're having some issues um certain people are feeling that they can't do their best work with next gen conservative right now and therefore have decided to take their work elsewhere now i'm fine now i understand that not everyone is happy with the way things have been going in the conservative youth movement it's been a very frustrating time for us all lately as young conservatives Obama won the election twice. Please, don't remind me. Case in point, exactly. Um, more and more, the Obama administration seems to be expanding government more and more and more. Um, there, certain societal changes are happening, which... Um, I've addressed on my YouTube channel multiple times. I do not care to get into to the certain topic tonight. But, folks, tonight is a show that I feel that I need to address to you all. Folks, I've been doing this radio broadcast this program, not the Whitfield analysis, but I've been doing podcasting and internet radio broadcasting since 2008, March of 2008. I've been doing this for a very long time now, almost five years. I started when I, when I was... I started when I was 14 years years old, and we've come a long way. There were very few of us back in 2008, very few young people who, who, were, actually, gave a, who actually gave a hoot, or who wanted to actually speak up. Yeah, who actually wanted to speak up, and I, I'm not trying to be righteous sorry to think about I but I was one of the first I was one of the first and I was very grateful to be able to to call myself one of the first but folks 
they're ha and the folks they're having more conservative, um, young conservative talk radio show hosts, and I'm grateful for that. I'm so grateful that there's more than just one teenage voice out there. I really am. But folks, I have also seen a great division in the conservative youth movement lately. And this is what I wish to address. It seems that in the past few years, and I'm not making any exceptions for myself. I'm not saying that I'm self-righteous because I've made this mistake too. But it seems as though certain people in the movement, and like I said, I think we're all guilty of this at certain times, um, want to become the top dog in the conservative youth movement. They want to become popular, but at certain times, folks, uh, they become popular at the cost of the actual conservative youth movement. Now, I'm not saying I'm exempt from this. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I have the same flaw, too. But what I want to get here, from here, folks, tonight is I really want to lay out why I think this an, is an issue for all of us and what we can do about it. So, folks, I'm going to take a quick time out. I know it's beginning of the program, but um, also... Um, Jimmy Z of the Jimmy Z radio program online, um, has graciously done our new theme song. Um, that is our new theme song you just heard, custom made, uh, for me. Jimmy and I worked on it together, uh, kind of collaborating by email and Facebook and whatnot. It was pretty cool, um... But, folks, I do want to give out a shout-out promotion to him real quick. Um, folks, most of you know uh, Jimmy Z um, from his radio program, um, The Jimmy Z Show, which he does three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I believe. Um, if that's not the case, Jimmy, sorry, uh, correct me, and for the future promotion, I'll be sure to get it right. But Jimmy Z has an excellent podcast, as many of you know. However, what most of you may not know is that Jimmy also does the uh, intro. He also does uh, a lot of voiceover work. Um, he has done the voice intro for um, other internet radio programs, such as the Caden Cowger program. Uh, Junior Factor Radio, which is Jason Veely's program. Um, of course, you just heard my um, show intro. And you'll hear um, him in just a sec. He's done some of the bumpers for the, for the program, too. But, folks, um, he also does bumpers for small business, too. If you're a small business owner and you'd like someone to do like an ad for you um Jimmy Z's services are only $100 for voiceover work which is extremely cheap in this economy some of some of the other uh voiceover guys will charge 500 bucks upwards for for them to do a commercial that's not right. Jimmy Z is going to uh, make you a high-quality ad, uh, theme song, promo, whatever you need for $100 if you email him. Go to his website, um, thejimmyzshow.com. Shoot him an email there, uh, want it, letting him know that you want him to make um, an intro or whatever you need over there. Um, also, Jimmy and I have worked out a special deal. Um, 
if you email him, if you mention my name, if you mention that Sam Whitfield sent you, he's going to knock off $20. So that's going to be $80 for whatever voiceover work you need. It's an excellent deal. Uh, he did my intro um, generously for free. But I was so impressed with this intro he made that um, I decided that I'd do his pr promos and whatnot, and uh, that I'd promote his voiceover work. So, Jimmy, thank you again for the intro. I want to thank you publicly on air. air. Folks, we'll be right back. Um, stay tuned. And, yeah. Gen Conservative Radio Network. Let's say you're worried about the direction the country is heading. Go to your computer and click on thejimmyzshow.com. Play today's show, and just like that, you know more than you did before. As you listen and click some of the links in the show notes, you feel empowered. Optimism follows, and you know just what to do. The Jimmy Z Show, conservative talk radio at thejimmyzshow.com. The left tries to deny him, but they quite simply can't. It's Sam Whitfield, helping to lead a new age of conservative talk on Next Gen Conservative Radio. Alright folks, welcome back to the program. You know folks, it's not easy to be a young conservative. Oh, I've heard that before. Well no, it's true Jared, it's really not easy to be a young conservative. Yeah, when I went to my old school, me and a friend were the only people who believed in John McCain in 2008. Yeah, all the other kids were looked like a bulldog staring into the sun. Uh, Barack Obama. Yeah. Anyway, folks, it's not easy to be a conservative teenager or to be a conservative in general. It's not easy to be, to be a conservative college student. And I applaud each and every one of you conservative teens out there, uh, or conservative preteens in Jared's case, who are willing to take a stand for conservative values. I absolutely applaud you, and I'm glad it's not just me out there anymore. I mean, I know that there were some others out there besides me at the time, don't get me wrong, but... There was a very small group of us back in 2008. And I applaud all the other conservative teenagers and young adults who have come to stand for our values. However, this is a topic I feel that I need to address personally. Um... Folks, we have, we all have different styles of speaking and writing. And some of us, we don't always agree with the way certain people may say things. Um, many people, I'm just going to throw this out there at, as an example because it needs to be said. Many people feel that my friend Caden Cowger is a little too direct and sometimes they think he can be a bully. Even some conservatives some conservatives say that he's too much like Rush Limbaugh and to be quite honest, I don't see the problem with that. 
I'm being sort of sarcastic. Honestly, though, being like Rush Limbaugh is not a huge Bad problem. Thing. But here is the problem that I'm seeing. I'm seeing so many conser young conservatives out there trying to do their own thing. And we can't really seem to agree on anything. None of us can. Me included. Like I said, we're making a whole bunch of changes over at NGC, which we'll announce at a later date as a group. But folks, here's what I want to stress to you. No, we may not agree with everything every young conservative says, but at the end of the day, folks, we're all fighting the same battle. I'm speaking to all of the young conservatives out there who are in the fight. Now folks, to be quite honest, there are some days, and I have to admit, last night was one of these nights. Um, things have gotten tough. And some days, there are moments where you just want to say, screw it, I don't want to do this anymore. Being a talk radio show host is really hard. It is really hard. But folks, you have to understand, this is not... I feel that we have an obligation. We may not agree with the way everything everyone says it, but look at it this way. Okay, because this often needs to be said, but the, but the left does not care how they say things or... Why or what? how or when or what they say. They don't give a hoot. And that, my friend, I would expect to be typical. Plus, when they see a kid like me, they always slap on this big, fat, see-through grin. I don't even understand why. And I and I agree with Jared. I mean, they don't they don't give a who you know what they say, where they say, how they say it. And look, I'm not saying that, it could, that conservatives need to speak like liberals, but lots of my conservative friends have taken uh, beatings. In fact, some of them have literally been attacked for calling the calling things as they see them bluntly i mean some conservative teenagers are getting beat up and yet the left accuses us of doing the same thing to the liberals and to and to uh you know other liberal groups and and I you know Sorry, but you know that this is why oh great almighty one got reelected because he accu we would have won if Bimbo hadn't accused us of being the wrong people. We didn't do anything, so why should he blame us for something? He just wants to win and make the country him, his. Well, here well, here's the thing. I I partially agree, agree with Jared, but he, but see here's the other thing. Barack Obama is a, is a lazy fool who well, should be too. Well, well no, but on the couch. well yeah that and <laughs> well yeah that but plus um Barack Obama told the American people that conservatives were bad people. And of course, people believe him. But you know what? That's a shame, though, because, like, like, here, like, okay, I, I'm just gonna ask. So, Barack Obama has, and not so much Barack Obama, but there have been other liberal politicians who have accused conservatives of, of hating black people. So, what? 
Honestly, the person's just another man in seven billion. I don't care what color he is. Just get him out of the office. But, Jared, I have to ask you, do you hate black people? No. Why? I had a couple of them. As a, I had a couple black friends as a kid. What's wrong with being black? You're just, you're just colored. There's no difference. There have been tons of smart black people, too. Right. Like Hucker B. Washington and Webb Dubois. And don't don't forget Herman Cain. Don't forget Clarence Thomas. Don't. I didn't. I didn't learn about them yet. <laughs> well, Herman Cain was the black guy who won again, who ran against Obama in the election earlier in 2012. Anyway, that's uh, that's besides the point. Um, I love Herman. We all do. But, folks, I feel that there's this, this division in the conservative youth movement. And I think we're all kind of feeling it right now. But, folks, if we continue to divide, this movement is not going to last. We may not agree with the way in which every con conservative youth movement member says things. But at the end of the, the day, we all are delivering the same message. So at some point, we all need to find some common grant ground as to how we can say things. And folks, I've got to take another break. We'll be right back for the last couple minutes. You're listening to the Next Gen Conservative Radio Network. Hi, Jimmy Z here, inviting you to listen to The Jimmy Z Show at thejimmyzshow.com. Conservative politics with humor, irreverence, and colored by my Christian faith. On demand, 24-7 with new shows every Monday through Friday. The Jimmy Z Show, hated by the left for all the right reasons. Tune in anytime, day or night, at thejimmyzshow.com. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. The left tries to deny him, but they quite simply can't. It's Sam Whitfield, helping to lead a new age of conservative talk on Next Gen Conservative Radio. And folks, we're back. And I, Barack Obama, approve this message. Oh yeah, Jared was... Uh... Jimmy, I want you to know, uh, Jared here and I were both cracking up over the end of your ad. Now, I've heard uh, that ad of yours millions of times. Um, I listen to your show pretty regularly, um, as do most conservatives who do who listen to web radio shows. Um, but anyway, getting to my point, back to my point. If we somehow cannot stand together, then we're screwed. Now, we'll be separated like leaves in the wind. Now, folks, I realize that the November election was tough. I realize that. And yes, I realize that being a young conservative is tough. I'm I'm getting ready to write a book about my experience as a young conservative. I'll be the first to read it. Because folks and look, you could be a liberal, but and even if you are, I know some liberals do listen to this program. And some of those liberals say bleep, bleep, and bleep about this program. But you know what? Who cares? I know some liberals listen to this program. But I would ask the liberal side. Not, not the extremists like Bill Maher and Barack Obama and Harry because... <laughs> 
you know, they're not going to listen to us anyway, and they just think we're a whole bunch of stupid kids. And I would really love to, nah, I shouldn't say it, and about a couple hundred thousand people are going to be watching this on YouTube, I shouldn't say it, but I can pretty much see that. It would get me arrested if I said it, and it's about the new law. But, uh, I know it's tough being a, a teenage conservative. Now, I just turned 18, so some of you out there are saying, Well, uh, Sam, you're not a conservative teenager anymore. You're actually an adult. It's time for you to start acting like one. Blah, 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 blah. They just don't, those people just don't, just want you to keep your mouth shut and follow them. Right, exactly. Now, folks, it, it's true that I am an adult, but I still support the youth, the conservative youth movement. I, I have and I always will. And folks, please... For those of you who are straddling on the fence in the in the conservative youth movement, Bring in the day. who may want to leave the conservative youth movement, I urge you, I beg of you, please stay on board. It would take a 50,000 foot barbed wire fence to climb if I had to climb that fence to the liberal side. But... We may have fallen on tough times, but we're not done fighting yet. And folks, all my mission ever was was to help other conservative youth get involved in the youth movement and to spread the conservative ideals. Because folks, there is still hope for this great nation. Well... I'm sort of having trouble seeing that. I'm blinded by this big batch of stupid people who voted twice for the for great almighty one who should be 500 pounds in the couch stuffing potato chips using his food stamps in his mouth. <laughs> No, I understand. It's tough. Inventing something called the couch toilet, where all you have to do is push a button and you don't have to walk to the bathroom. But but we will get there, my friends. I hope. <laughs> we, we will. This nation is not doomed. Yet. There are good people here. Right, yeah. But we will be doomed if we don't keep fighting. We will be doomed if we don't struggle... If we don't continue. I know, but we just went back to using a bow and arrow fighting against a tank. I know. <laughs> but folks, if you're willing to stand with me, I'll stand with any young conservative who is willing to stand beside me. Are you willing to stand by me? I'm hoping so. Are you willing to stand by Caden Cowger? Are you willing to stand by Jason Veley? I want to leave you with those thoughts for tonight. Good night, folks. God bless, and God bless America. You're listening to the Next Gen Conservative Radio Network.